Hey everybody, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back to show you my latest Erin Condren order. This um, order is basically um, a couple of random things that I didn't really order during Erin Condren's initial launch for their new life planners. Um, I actually will link that video that I did with my launch order down below. But um, there was a couple of things that I, um, when I met up with my friend that she had purchased or maybe that were out of stock during the launch time. And so I recently just made another order and I thought I would share that with you today. So the first thing that I purchased was this um, strap. I have one of the Erin Condren um, canvas bags. Um, I kind of use it, actually I do use it as my, you know, daily purse. I'm a mom, so I love the strap um, that came with the bag that I purchased. It was um, the floral strap that is more of the softer tones. And I knew that I wanted to get this colorful, um, I guess you would say this is the color blend um, pattern. Uh, interchangeable strap. I don't plan to use it right away. Um, I do like it though, like as a summer strap and I just, I wanted to go ahead and get it ordered um, just in case for some reason, like they didn't offer them or anything by the time that I plan to use it. Um, like I said, I am a teacher. So when I don't carry a backpack to work every day, I carry the Erin Condren bag as kind of my toss in purse and being a mom on the go during the summer, especially um, these straps. What's really great about them is that um, they um, are adjustable. So you can have it up or down to um, however it works for your body, um, which I absolutely love. I'm still currently going to use the strap that I have on my bag, but I just wanted to have this one probably I know it's kind of bright for the fall but maybe like that back to school time in August it just it just screamed like bright colors in a teacher's classroom so I just thought it was fitting um for that time of year but maybe I'll put it on in the summertime who knows I don't know anyway I just love it so I had to go ahead and order another one. I may even order the bag in navy. I have the taupe color, um, which I think this will pair really nicely with. I love the gold hardware that is on this. It's very heavy duty. Um, so yeah, there is the strap. I know, random, but that's what I ordered. Okay, so then the next thing that I wanted to get was the Erin Condren sticker books. I usually get these um, every launch. I think I did get one, which I have over here. Yes, I did get the um, this sticker book at launch time, but they were out of stock for this monthly collection one, which I believe was from her last launch. So I wanted to get that one because I noticed it was back in stock. And with these kinds of things, you never know. Um, like once they're gone, they're gone. I might have even should have gotten two. Um, but so this is an older sticker book. When she comes out with the next edition of it, I'll definitely purchase and pick that up. It has this like really muted tone, but still colorful um, cover. And then I'm just gonna flip through really quick and show you the months. I just, I really like how they are seasonal to um, that time of year and they have foiling on them. So how perfect is that for March? Love that green. And then here's April, which I always associate April as a purple month. Um, and I love it because it's kind of like this purpley rose gold foiling that goes real nice with it. Oh, I skipped. Okay, May, super beautiful. I like peachy, pinky tone, June. I wouldn't have picked green for June, but um, this is really beautiful though. I do like it. It's kind of iridescent, but also has a tint of that rose color in it. Um, July, I love. I love the blue versus red for some reason. I don't know. I just think red is more of the Christmas color. And then here's August. 
September, oh, that's pretty. October, uh, November, and December is green. So I would have liked to have seen red in there, but you know, this is really pretty, so it will pair nice with whatever you decide to put with. And so this book right here, this was the basis for this whole purchase. And the reason that is, is because during launch, I was watching YouTube videos. I cannot remember for the life of me, the person who said that they sticker their entire planner when they get it for the entire year. Um, they do all of their months. And so, and then they flip through um, weeks, every week, all 52 weeks, and they add a little sticker or two. So if they don't get a sticker kit or if they don't get, um, you know, time to sticker their planner, there's still a little bit of something there. And she used this book along with some other stickers that she had. So I knew I wanted this monthly sticker book. And that is actually what I plan to do um, is sticker my entire planners. And if you watch my other launch video, you will see where um, I actually purchased two planners. So, and I do love getting monthly stickers and I will show that coming up in just a bit, how I plan to sticker my entire planner. All right, so I'm gonna keep moving through this order. Um, this is another sticker book. Like I said, I'm a teacher. So this was the latest one that came out with the um, back to school teacher planner launch. Um, this, so this is edition number six. And I believe when I was shopping, I had edition number five in my cart and then I saw she had the sixth edition. So I went ahead and swapped it out and got edition number six. I probably could have gotten both, honestly, but I just went with the latest one because I felt like I don't really need that many um, school-related uh, stickers, but this will pair really nicely, probably with the planner I plan to use for just teaching and at school. Oh, I love this. These are like, I bet they're clear. Oh yeah, these are clear alphabet stickers, each letter. Oh, I love that, super cute. Let me not get that back in there. It's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, super cute. Love the colors on this too. Oh, and then there's a gold set with a grid in the background, love that. Oh, these are so beautiful and I love the foiling on these. So yeah, this will work very well. Maybe like in August, I do like to do like a back to school theme. I even do like on my coffee bar, a little back to school theme with my for my kids. And now that I'm a teacher, like the month of August just screams back to school for me. So I just, I kind of have it as a seasonal thing um, where I do seasonal planning or seasonal decorating for that month. And it's such a weird month anyways because it's the transition month between summer ending and fall kind of beginning, but it doesn't really begin until September. But for us here in Florida, we go back to school in August, like early August. So for me, that month is just, instead of that cross between month, it's a back to school month. So this is perfect. And I'm not gonna use all of these in the month of August, obviously, but um, it will be definitely perfect for that. And see how it even has like staff meeting, testing. I love that because those are great little pop-in stickers to add. So real quickly, before I finish with this order, I have it right down here, the teacher planner that I plan to use when I go back to school. It is not an Erin Conjured planner. Um, I haven't shown it on my channel or anything yet. When I got it, I opened it and I was just like, oh, it's cute. Um, but basically it's just a working planner. It's a huge eight and a half by 11 planner. Um, I had a larger planner last year that I used for school work, school and home with kids. And that was just too crazy because it was this size 
and way too big to like lug back and forth. So this year I purchased Erin Condren for my personal planning. And then this planner, it's by um, Callie Danielle. Um, I'm going to leave at school that I will use specifically in my planning sessions with like my teachers, my coworkers, um, and like kind of just fill in um, what we're planning to do. And then we actually have, if you're a teacher, you know this, but we have to post a plan into our shared drive, like on a digital version of it. And so honestly, when we're doing that, um, I will pull it up in my classroom to look at it as I'm teaching. So this book is more for strictly like rough planning or figuring out like things that are coming ahead so that when we do our digital plan, we will, um, you know, kind of have like this as a note taking one. I hope that kind of makes sense or how I explained it um, because I'm really not a paper planner I guess at school only only initially to like kind of get it going but when it comes to like my personal life or creating content for the blog crafty life mom I totally am that paper person so this is kind of like a working notebook and just so you know this Callie Daniel Danielle planner is a um, academic year planner and it could be used for students or teachers, it's not a specific teacher planner. Um, like I said, last year in my first year of teaching, I had a specific teacher planner that had all the pages like for grading or contacts and conferences and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I did not use that. I used a digital format of it or a tracking of that kind of stuff. Um, that the school provided, that they required we use. So instead of duplicating it in my planner, I just used the one that they had. But for planning curriculum in the classroom with my cohorts, with my um, teachers who teach the same subjects that I do, this planner is what um, I intend to use. And I liked it because it was very simple, but it had a little bit of the seasonal stuff. It does start July. You can see here, here's the monthly spread, and then here's the weekly spread. So it's very plain, basic, black and white. And my goal here is, and you see it starts with July as a month here, but it is very like school year based. It's the last week of July, which is perfect because this is the week that I'm gonna start thinking about school stuff. So I don't really plan to track meals or my fitness. Maybe I'll track my hydration during the day. That might be kind of cool. But um, these columns are just going to be what I plan to do. And it's just going to be like a chronological thing of the day. Sometimes we have days as teachers where we have half days or our kids have different schedules because it's picture day or it's a book fair or it's whatever. And so... As a parent, you just have to know to send that with your kid, right? Send the form. Well, for teachers, um, your schedule changes for the day. So I will just, on the days that we have a different schedule, put it in here. In my old teacher planner, that did not work. Um, it basically, you know, I had like blocks and I just felt like I was running out of the room in my block. And so I just, I picked this because it had just one log column for the day. And it's going to be like, here's my day while I'm at school for those six and a half, seven, whatever hours. Um, and then if there's anything going on, you know, that I need to remember, I can do that here. If I want to schedule out conferences, you know, I could probably just put some washi here and then just put, okay, who I have or whatever. So that's what I plan to do and use this Erin Condren book with it. Um, it has like the birthdays, the field trips, and just kind of pre-put, maybe I will pre-put these stickers in there. And these are some pretty washi. Those will go quick though. Um, just to kind of do. I definitely like it for uh, this right here, these little note-taking things. So 
definitely will probably put this throughout or keep this at school with me. And then these two things will stay together um, as a teacher. The reason I picked this over the Erin Condren teacher planner again is because it was soft, it's movable, um, it's real thin. And if I have to take this home, it's not gonna be this heavy lug of a deal paired with my Erin Condren planner, which is the one that I plan to use and take back and forth. And let me just explain, okay? So this is like my teacher work life right here, which I tend to keep at school. And then I got, just to remind you, I got the, um, the Daily Duo Color Blends Erin Condren Planner, okay? This one, as you can tell, it's a lot smaller. This will fit in the Erin Condren tote bag. And it's, even though it's thicker, um, just this already is like so much heavier than this right here. So this is just easy to kind of like carry back and forth. And because it's the Daily Planner, which I will show you. I love that I have my schedule personal for me. I can say, okay, here I am at school, right? And then I have my to-do list here. So sometimes my to-do list doesn't really fit into, you know, like do this at nine o'clock. It's more like if you get time, try to do this, right? Um, that's just mom life, working life, running a household life, family of five life, like that's just how my brain works. So for me, having this list of things that I need to do or would like to get done um, is perfect. And then, you know, I can block out the things that I have to do here and then try to weave these things in margins of my day. I'm one of those people who is definitely works in the margins of life throughout the day. Um, kind of person to get all that I need to get done. So this is the planner that I'm going to take back and forth to me. But as you can tell, putting in the curriculum planning and stuff that I teach at school, this isn't going to fit, right? So that's why I have this guy for work. Um, I know that may sound like a lot to some of you. I know if you're in the planning community, you probably totally get it. Um, but I have never, um, had just, you know, more than one planner system. I've always just like tried to force myself to be in one for everything for so many years. And I found that, um, I was like, sometimes it was super busy. I wouldn't plan at all. And that kind of left me feeling frazzled, maybe even having a little anxiety because I'm like, what am I doing? Where am I going? And then I've had it where I've planned and everything um, and, you know, didn't really have a lot going on, but everything didn't quite fit and it just was kind of like a big old mess. So I'm going to try this system where I have like it separate, but they work together. I will keep you guys posted on how that works for me. Um, I could be completely wrong with the, my thought process on this. I know I spent a lot of money to kind of come up with this system, but I have to give it a try because planning is life. So um, that's part of why um, I totally made this Aaron Condren order. So I know that I kind of rambled on there a bit and I apologize. Um, but that is the reason why, like I said, I prompted this second Erin Condren order because I knew I kind of had this dual system going. So definitely have to keep these two things together for school um, and we'll keep them in my um, work, my desk at school. All right, so moving on to what's left in this Erin Condren order, I purchased um, a kind of like a um, Bible study notebook. My friend purchased one of these and I absolutely loved it. It's very slender, it's thin, it's not dated, and I don't get to, you know, Bible study like every day. Um, definitely don't even do it weekly, but it is one of those things that I really wanted to get more into. And so sometimes having like a journal or something like if we go to Bible study together, this um, notebook is perfect for like taking those notes and kind of reflecting. 
and I'm noticing, um, so there's several different versions of this on Erin Condren's website. This one says the non-denominational one. I don't believe that that's the one I ordered. Um, so I think this is a mistake. I ordered the NIV, um, the New International Version, Bible Journaling Notebook uh, Planner. So I'm thinking that this is the wrong one because the one that I was wanting had Bible verses in it. Hmm, and this doesn't look like it does. So, let's see, definitely has a prayer list. I'm gonna have to check now. <laughs> oh man, that stinks. Yeah, and this says this month's goals. Like, this isn't supposed to be monthly, weekly, or anything like that. I think I have the wrong one, guys, and I'm so sorry, but here's this one. Um, I will reach out to Erin Condren and see if there's something I can do to exchange this, or I don't know, maybe I'll have to order it. It was only, I think, $20, so it's not real expensive to get the wrong one. This one is very nice, though, but I still believe that this is not the one I ordered or meant to order. Um, I don't think I had both in my cart, so could have been my mistake. I don't really know. Anyway, um, this is a nice one as well, but I feel like this is not the one that my friend had. The cover looks like it though, so I could be wrong. Um, definitely, yeah, non-denomination, no. I don't, this is like if, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. But here it is, it's nice, looks pretty good. I think that's just the wrong one. Okay, and then moving on, the last, oh, I have two more things. The, uh, this cover, I really loved it. Um, it's beautiful and definitely just felt like I needed to have this. It's the Etta V, um, like painted, cover it's just very beautiful it has like the gold fleck in it and like the it looks textured but it's not it's like it you could tell like these were like paint splotches or strokes done on a canvas and I just really love the way it has it says just be you um I love that when it comes to like creativity I like color you know especially just being um someone who enjoys like pink and teal, black and gold. It just kind of, you know, was something that just kind of struck me um, as really pretty and beautiful. So I ordered this cover. I do um, have this cover for the monthly planner that I got. Um, I know I'm pulling out my other planners, um, but this, I will explain this one um, in an upcoming video why I have this one, but I just thought that that would be kind of fun to have on the planner. Like I said, the Daily Duo Planner, this is my day-to-day, -day. so um, this is a monthly option that I have, and we'll try to use, entwine that within my system um, of planning. I know, I do not want to confuse you guys in this video. If you have questions about why I have so many planners, and yes, I do plan to use them all. I can explain that maybe in another video. I kind of already went into it a little bit with my um, teacher one there, but anyway, all right. Last thing, I just had to order these. These were so cute, the mini snap-in bookmarks. I didn't get these the first go around. Um, totally wanted to, but I don't know. I just, for some reason, I didn't end up in my car. I got some of the other ones, though. So, um, yeah, these are those. They're super cute. And um, they just snap in, and they kind of hold, you know, like, where you're working at. Like, if you're here today, they just kind of snap in. Well, to your planner. So, just kind of give you an idea here how these work. Get that in there, nice. All right, so they kind of like just stick out past it. You could obviously move it up or down, but I like it because it's still kind of, oh, it's sticking to my thing. Still kind of flush, but it's like, oh, where where are you today? Well, I'm right there. 
you know? I don't know. I just, it's perfect. So, got those to kind of have as bookmarkers. And what I was doing before was using like a clamp clip to mark, you know, like the, the month like this. And then like I was on this week and I kind of hated that. Um, trying to figure out like where to open my book up to. With these, you can have one for the month and then, you know, if you're three weeks in your month, then you don't have to have a paper clip. You can just have you know, a second one. It would be cool though if Erin Condren like made one like double wide so you could tab across. That would be really awesome. And if somebody's made that, which you probably could totally with two of these. Look at that, maybe I'll do a little DIY with that. Wouldn't that be fun? So if you have like, you know, like here's your month. Just got an idea. Here's your month, right? Like sticking out, I'm just gonna stick that there. And then three months in, or three weeks in, you have this, right? So now you know, okay, well here's my week and here's my month. So Erin Condren people, if you're watching, I got an idea for you, okay? I will definitely do a DIY of it, but I'm sure somebody out there has made something. They have to have, anyway. That's what these are for. And so that is this Erin Condren planner haul. I know I went off a little bit on the edge there with everything with my teacher planner, but hey, at least you kind of have an idea now what I plan to do and why I got those sticker books. I will see you guys in the next one where I actually sticker the entire year in my daily duo. All right, catch ya.